Greetings, my friends, and God bless you all. In this video, I'd like to briefly talk about a couple of major stories in the news this past week. One big story this week, of course, RFK Jr. has suspended his campaign and has endorsed Donald Trump for president. Many of you may have watched him speak to the country yesterday from Phoenix, Arizona. Of course, the news media is immediately downplaying the significance of this. The leading third party candidate in the 2024 election has just urged his supporters to vote for Donald Trump in the battleground states that will swing the election to Donald Trump. The Democratic Party drove Bobby Kennedy Jr. away and he told the full story in his speech yesterday in Phoenix. The Democrats refused to give any quarter for RFK Jr. to run a free and fair primary campaign against Joe Biden. They worked against him instead of working with him. The party of the Kennedys had no room for Bobby Kennedy Jr. And the news media, for the most part, almost totally ignored RFK Jr. He got almost no news coverage and very few interviews with major television platforms like ABC, NBC, CBS, and CNN. Working in collusion with the Democratic Party, they kept Bobby Kennedy Jr. off the debate stage they treated him as a pariah as he tried to work within the party of his father and his uncles. So RFK Jr. withdrew from the Democratic Party and tried to run for president as an independent candidate. But then the Democratic Party took him to court whenever he tried to get on the ballot in every state. They hated Bobby Kennedy for running as a Democrat and they hated him for running as an independent, and they succeeded in turning the nephew of President Kennedy, the son of Robert Kennedy, into an enemy of the Democratic Party. He formed an alliance with Donald Trump after trying to get a meeting with Kamala Harris, who refused to even meet with him and talk with him. Today, all the Democratic talking heads are saying RFK Jr. is irrelevant and his supporters are irrelevant and not necessarily going to support Trump anyway, in spite of RFK Jr.'s endorsement. But I disagree with that opinion, that disregard for the influence of Bobby Kennedy Jr. He has been a factor in this 2024 election and he does have more supporters than any other third party candidate. His endorsement of Trump will make a difference in the purple states like Pennsylvania, Arizona, Nevada, Mich Michigan, Wisconsin, Georgia, North Carolina. This race may have tightened up now that Kamala Harris has replaced Joe Biden. But the Democrats have foolishly disregarded the influence of a Kennedy who had drawn a lot of support. Of course, the other big story in the news is the official Democratic nomination of Kamala Harris. From Politico, we are told the story of ruthless Kamala Harris and how she won her first race. She had decided to run for San Francisco District Attorney against Bill Fazio, a former prosecutor. In years past, Fazio had already run two close races for San Francisco District Attorney, but he had lost both times. Fazio was taking a third shot at the office, so Bill Fazio was running against Kamala Harris for San Francisco District Attorney. As this campaign heated up, Fazio's campaign mailed out information 
on Kamala Harris's previous positions in local government. They pointed out that it was her relationship with San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown that had launched her career in government. Willie Brown was a married man, but Kamala Harris admittedly was his girlfriend. Willie Brown had appointed his girlfriend, Kamala Harris, to two high-paying part-time positions, paying her $100,000 a year as a full-time employee. But in San Francisco, where sexual sin is often celebrated, the information about Harris did not turn out to be a liability for her at all. Voters rewarded her adulterous affair with San Francisco's mayor, and they gave her the victory over Bill Fazio. Through her affair with the married mayor, Kamala Harris had connected with a lot of big money people in the wealthy neighborhoods of the city. Big donations had come rolling into her coffers, helping her to have all the necessary funds to wage a winning campaign. Gary DeLognis, the president of the city's police union, recalled a party where Kamala Harris approached him. I was standing in the corner, he said. I didn't know who she was. And she came up to me and put her finger in my chest. And she said, you better endorse me. You better endorse me. You get it? She was the mayor's girlfriend. I never forgot it. She is ruthless. The politics of this world is just as the Bible says. The devil is the prince of this world. The Bible tells us about the time that Jesus was tempted by the devil. The Bible says the devil taking Jesus up into a high mountain showed to him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said to Jesus, All this power will I give you, and the glory of them, for that is delivered to me, and to whomsoever I will, I give it. The devil was tempting Jesus, wanting Jesus to worship the devil. The devil was offering Jesus all the kingdoms of this world, if Jesus would worship the devil. But of course, Lord Jesus rebuked the devil and said, Get you behind me, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. The governments of this world are under the sway of the devil, the prince of this world. The Lord God of heaven and earth has given the unregenerate governments of this world to be under the sway of evil for a short time. In these last days, we believe Satan is about to hand over the most powerful nation in the world to Antichrist Donald Trump. We believe Trump will defeat Harris in the 2024 election and be inaugurated in January of 2025. We believe Antichrist Trump will use the mighty U.S. military to go out conquering and to conquer in the immediate future and eventually gain power over the entire world as the beast described in the book of Revelation. I encourage you to watch our videos on this channel where we go into great detail about these Bible prophecies being fulfilled. We've been preaching the gospel and teaching the words of Bible prophecy on this channel for about a decade now. Thank you for coming to our channel, and we hope you will continue to be a part of our fellowship. Whether or not you agree with everything said on this channel, please do be sure to take this one thing to heart. Life is short. Whether or not you believe these are the last days, you can be sure of this. Life is short, and many human souls leave this world and step into eternity every day. 
Some die young and some die old, but the mortality rate for all has held steady at 100%. You have no promise that you will live to see tomorrow. As the old saying goes, when you put your shoes on in the morning, you don't know who will take them off that night. My old heart could stop beating this day. Your heart, young or old, could stop beating this day. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Be sure that heaven is your forever home. And be sure of that today. God loves you. Please watch our short eight-minute video that explains how to be absolutely certain that you will go to heaven when you leave this world. There is no hope in the politics and politicians of this world. None of them. Jesus Christ is the only hope.